In this next episode, we're going to meet a lot of uh, camper cars as well as camper vans and overlanders. We're really looking forward to meeting all these new friends who are coming for a Chinese New Year. So stay tuned for that. Love the sun never fails to shine. Respect the moon for what it deserves. Just want to say a quick thank you to Aslan of Extract for our awning. This excellent awning is providing us so much shade and it was only like two minutes to open up. Hi and welcome back to the 24 Hour Travelers channel. This week we are in Payong campsite again and we've just arrived. We left Kuala Lumpur at around 7 in the morning and it's a beautiful day. It rained for a bit just now. But the sun's come up and it's going to be gorgeous. I'd like to show you what this place looks like and where we're camped out. This place is called Payong Campsite. Our view is like this. Local speciality over here in Shrating is a drink called Tua. It's made of uh, pineapple juice. It's kind of with some fermented rice. You mix it with a bit of mango juice and uh, it's really, really tasty. Really good for cooling your body down on a hot day. Action. Ayah, this is our small car. So we use one bed here, like that really tiny one, but it's really comfortable for us to sleep. And we use plywood as a base because here they have one gap here. So to close this gap, we need to use uh, this plywood to make it stand and to put the, the bed become flat. So it's like this, it's comfortable for us to sleep at night. And the good advantage for this car is because the, the seat is flat, full flat for behind. So it's easier for us to go to put on the bed and sleep inside. So I can see you have two fans here, left yeah. and right. Yeah, um, this is for me and yep. this is for my wife. And then we just use a small setup. We use a power bank, which is we charge here. Uh, takes like three hours for one day, but it can last long, like 16 hours for, for one day. So you can use full of them, like 16 hours. So for the whole night, normally you will start to on like 11 or something like this. So until morning, you're gonna have the wind, yeah. the wind for the whole morning. And how much is your fan and where did you get it? Uh, 15 ringgit for this. <laughs> 15 ringgit for this power bank, probably 60 ringgit, something like this. One, wow. two, and three. Very powerful, it's great. Yeah, it's for the small car like this, it's fantastic. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I should get a couple. <laughs> yeah. Where are they from again? This one? Huh. Uh, night market in uh, Small market, night yeah. market in Teluk Cempedak, I think we bought there, yeah. And we haven't been finding Yeah, this. it's easy to find yeah. this one. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. And you are a surfer? Yeah. <laughs> this okay. is what I like. Thank you, merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. 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 Thank you. Au revoir. Hello, Hi. 
sadistic people around the world. <laughs> now you're gonna see something very horrible. <laughs> Remember this? Morning. This is Dania from episode three. So what happened, Dania? Well, a lot of stuff. After I left Kuala Lumpur, I went to the life in the jungle and the jungle gave me something back to my body. So I fell from a waterfall, uh, I hurt my leg, I was striking and my feet got infected with the wounds. And after two weeks living in the wild, I couldn't get a proper care. So it got, now it looks really, really horrible. Oh. Yeah. You got right, we'll put your foot in here. Gloves. Okay, just so that they have a clean area. Okay, this is gonna hurt a bit more. Sorry. Oh. Put on, put on, put on, put on. That's why the panda dog will last for a few hours. Let's go see what Renee is up to. So, the car is going to be 6 and 7. Kenapa 6 dan 7? Hmm. Sebab 6 dan 7 ni adalah clip host, radiator host Okay, ni you punya free time Okay So you boleh climb grip Macam you nak tukar host Tak ada, dia cakap tak ada hal ha, ajar, ha, ajar. ajar macam mana setting? Setting Dia ha. ha. punya problem tu eh ha. Macam mana? Macam mana abang tengok dia punya Eh, hey. hey. Ada orang ambil gambar I just got some tips from Abang Bomba This is his car uh, This is Inicom Permas aka Anak Gajah What a wonderful It's a bit green in here, we're inside Fuat and Iza's tent and they, the reason why they're sleeping in their tent and not their country camper is because they had a little accident. The country camper is now a total loss. Uh, but I have the story for you guys and it's here. Let them tell it to you for themselves. Hi Fuat. Hi. Jumpa you lagi kat sini. Yeah, kita jumpa lagi di Payung Campsite Cerateng. Yeah. Tapi kali ni kita cuma datang um, dengan menggunakan kemah Tainis Ka Camper itu kan Chel dan kami terlibat dengan satu kemalangan yang menyebabkan kereta kancil kami total loss dan tak dapat digunakan lagi. Kiranya anda terlibat dalam kemalangan Cuba jangan panik dan kalau boleh Kiranya tak ada apa-apa berlaku Keluar daripada kereta dalam kadar yang segera Seperti apa yang berlaku pada kami Kiranya kami tak dapat keluar dengan awal Mungkin kami terlibat dengan tujuh lagi kenderaan Daripada belakang yang laju yang kita tak jangka Kali ini kita masih lagi datang ke Payung Campsite untuk join dengan kawan-kawan yang lain tetapi uh, kita cuma menggunakan kemah yang agak uh, boleh kata selesa tapi jiwa campsite kena ada itu yang paling penting so lepas ni kita akan fokus pada uh, kita punya projek van delika kita jumpa lagi nanti bye next trip Places. 
Be careful. We do this. Avoid plastic. Meat, salad, water. Avoid plastic. I do, no, I I do this so I'm back with the uh, Simo and Dania. I bumped into them in Kampung Trating and uh, told them that they need to now give us the tips about low budget travel. And here they are. We introduce them. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Here we go. So this is one of the most frequent questions when people ask is how do you do it financially? Because people are used to a very high standard of traveling. So obviously no one could handle that kind of traveling for a long time. But if you do our kind of strangling with limited money, you can go on for months and months and months. So usually in the travel, the three things you spend more money is on accommodation, food and transportation. We have a few tips on how you could save a lot of money. So first one on accommodation, if you don't want to pay any money at all, one of them is Couchsurfing. This is a website where you can find hosts all around the world. We are able to offer you a couch or a bedroom for free in their house and not only that's awesome because you save a lot of money but also you get to meet a lot of very friendly people who can introduce you a lot about their life their culture so that's always a very cool option our favorite one though is work away it's uh, another website where you can find volunteering projects all around the world and uh, we had the most incredible experiences doing this since teaching English in a monastery in Myanmar, doing a reconstruction project in Nepal. It even opens your doors because that's how we started diving, we were volunteering in the dive center so now that's our job. And then I'm gonna speak about food because I'm Italian now. <laughs> Personally, for me, it's one of the most important part of my travel. Usually when we arrive in a new place, I always try to find the best local food because local food is much better than any kind of other food. It's fresh food, so, so I think it's very kind of responsible way how to travel because you give money to the local people and not to like reach people around, you know. And then uh, usually people from Europe, they ask me, have you ever had like uh, food poisoning? We never had food poisoning because probably we avoid meat. You never know if the meat is fresh or not, so try to avoid meat. Uh, salad, because the water you know that they use probably is not, we cannot drink that kind of water. Yeah, also about water, we always try to fill our bottle. In some place you can pay just a small amount of money, and you can fill your water bottle, or we have a filtered bottle, uh, so we can filter the water. We try to avoid as much as we can plastic because it's a big problem everywhere in the world right now also because we are dive master and we know right now all the problem that they are in the ocean so the amount of plastic that you can find everywhere <laughs> Nama saya Sulaiman bin Job Berasal daripada Kampung Gajah Teluk Intan Perak, Malaysia Dulu saya adalah seorang bikers Daripada grup BMW Yang telah merata-rata sehingga China, Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia Dan sekarang saya menukar hobi Setelah saya pergi ke Thailand Saya melihat banyak jenis-jenis camper yang piknik di, Macam di National Park dan di tepi-tepi pantai How did you get to know about legend Zuraimi Remy? Bila saya berminat camper, saya mula menjelajah ke Malaysia. Isteri saya pun hobi yang sama. Dia cuba cari dalam blog YouTube dan terjumpa channel dipanggil 24 Hours Travelers Channel yang mengeluarkan cerita-cerita tentang camper, interview camper-camper dan semua. Dan dari situ saya terus berminat. Dan berminat terus melihat daripada aktiviti-aktiviti yang dikeluarkan oleh 24 Hours Travelers Channel dan sedikit daripada YouTube blog-blog lain. Dan saya telah mengubah suai kereta saya sepenuhnya.
try this very interesting dish. It's called uh, satay. Satay. Yeah. So it's uh, banana leaves. Satay. Satar. 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 Sorry. Satar. It's a banana leaves that is yeah. folding a paste of fish, chili, coconut, and then they put all together. They close it, so this is how it is inside, and this is how it is outside when it's full with the banana leaves. All right, and then as you can see here, there is a hole they put through a stick and they grill it. So, I think it's really good to get some taste and some uh, energy from the banana leaves. Really nice, I love this kind of way to cook. Natural. Bio, okay, I can throw it and still they will be like disappear in the nature, it's natural. Very, very good. That's so good. <laughs> so tell us how it tastes. Try it. Strong, big, and strong. Okay, what's the taste? No. It's a mix. Number two. I can taste um, kind of uh, ginger, onion, coconut, fish. I can even see the skin of the fish here, you can see here. So that means that they are very soft and uh, tasty fish. Otherwise you cannot eat the, the skin of the fish. It's really good. It's really good. So welcome to my rooftop tent. This is where we sleep at night and it's my favorite place to be because it's so comfortable and spacious. And because it's on our van, it has an awesome view all around. Let me show you the view. If you want to support our channel, you can do so for just 1 USD a month on Patreon. Remember to subscribe and click notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and share our videos for the love of campervan travel. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye!